amidst the backdrop of everything that was going on that things were going to be contentious, but I don't think we saw it being as contentious as it was. I think as a player pool, we made salary cut concessions. We moved the CBA back a year. We really felt like we were doing our part. We were committed to go to Orlando for a long period of time, guys away from their families playing in not ideal circumstances. Um, and for the league to just continually try to squeeze concessions from us at basically every turn, I think it, it just became a lot for players to deal with. And I think our player pool um, really showed their strength and their resolve. In my seven years in the league, I've never seen it explicitly written out in an email that the league was planning to lock us out at a certain date and at a certain time. I think that's always the the leverage that both sides have. It doesn't normally become that explicit, but the fact that it was at this date, at this time, if you don't agree to this deal, we were going to lock you out. I think that was the final straw for a lot of guys. And I think to to try to imagine taking health insurance and pay away from players while there's a global pandemic going on is, is tone deaf. And I think for a lot of our player pool, we just couldn't believe that because we had made so many concessions and, and really been negotiating good faith that the league was still trying to just continue to use the situation that we're all in to try to tr make gains for their side of things. We came out of that CBA in, in February, probably in the best place that the relationship had ever been. I think we, we really thought and felt like it was going to be a partnership and that the league wanted to work with the players and the players wanted to work with the league. And we really wanted to make this league grow. And I think for MLS to ever reach its true potential, you need to have a partnership between the players and the league because we don't have it. So that could be an attractive place for players to play. Players that are playing here are going to want to leave. And I just think the the actions of the league over the last week, week and a half, are just, like you said, I think regrettable is a great word. I think we talk about it a lot, but in times of, of crisis, when things are going really poorly, there's a lot of companies that either took care of their employees during this pandemic or did not take care of their employees. I think we found out during a pandemic without a CBA ratified, how the MLS was going to treat our player pool. And they tried to use the pandemic and all these things to leverage a better deal for themselves. And like I said, we totally understand that they're undertaking financial losses this year, but we felt like we did our part. And, and the fact that they continually tried to squeeze and bully us at basically every turn was something that I think they'll look back on and, and regret doing.